friend. Goes a long way. Next time, we're going to be... I'm saving that for Mifa and also the X... That's right. The game wasn't bugged. The DLC shrines, despite everything I've read online that says that they don't, count towards 100%. And with only one possible thing left to do that could add to 100% and only 9% missing, the math lines up perfectly that we will 100% Breath of the Wild. I didn't think it would be possible. But, turns out... It is. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we almost got the one-hit obliterator back. If you go back and watch last episode, towards the end, uh, after I defeated the Divine Beast, the one-hit obliterator dropped right next to me. And if I had had the reaction time to grab it within those 12 frames, we might have been able to do this boss with the one-hit obliterator. I'm not sure why it spawned. But we almost were able to get it. I'm not. I, I'm not even sure if it has uh, the ability to for you to pick it up, since you never are able to. It's never able to be dropped. So we may not have been able to get it. But imagine the possibilities of having a one-hit obliterator in the normal game without hacking. That would have been great. All right. This episode, while this is the last thing we can do to participate to get to 100%, that's not what we're doing. Because a while back, I made a promise that we would defeat the Divine Beasts a couple more times off-screen so that we could view the additional dialogue that the champions have to offer. We did that for Elden, we uh, saw about eight voice clips, and we're going to be doing it for the other bosses. Then, after that, we're going to be going back to Zora's Domain, and we're going to read Mipha's journal. Those are the only things we're doing this episode, meaning that it's probably going to be a bit short, and it's going to be extremely light on commentary from me, because it's just going to be dialogue from the, the uh, champions, and then a journal entry, which I will be reading. So this episode is a little bit off-kilter, but I think it's good for us to do this, because this is the last thing left in the entire game for us to do before we beat it next episode. So, that being said, let's, uh, let's do this in the order in which we conquered them, starting with Divine Beast, Vomido. Let's go have a chat with Rivali. It's pointless to dwell on the past. Still, you and I should have fought 100 years ago. A duel against the one who came to Rito Village to challenge my authority. Just imagine. The hero of the Rito against Hyrule's mightiest knight. A battle for the ages. Win or lose, I would have liked a chance to settle the score with you. Hey, Rivali, I'll challenge you to an arm wrestle. You're rather persistent. Well, at least you have good timing. There's something I wanted to tell you. You may happen upon something called the Diary of Rivali, the Rito Legend. Don't believe a word of it. I'm not the author. Misleading title, I know. Got it? You're working diligently, as you should. By the way, a word of advice. After you rescue the princess, don't go asking her about me. Understood? Whatever rubbish she may say, do not pursue that topic! It's been 100 years, so I bet her royal memory isn't what it used to be anyhow. You're back! <laughs> I suppose this is part of your training to defeat Calamity Ganon, yes? I can't blame you for feeling anxious about facing the foul beast. Hmm? Were you looking for words of encouragement in my dulcet tones? I can understand why you would desire such a thing, but having me keep you in line will have to suffice. 
That sounds like the last line, but just to be thorough, I'm going to enter the beast one last time. Um. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, well, this wouldn't be a final Breath of the Wild episode if there weren't bugs like that. That is not supposed to happen! Ow! You again? Huh? Well, since you're here, tell me, how is Rito Village faring? And that's our first repeat voice line, meaning we are done with Champion Rivali. Onward to my favorite boss battle in Urbosa! Land of divine justice! Strike at me now! A cowering god who appeases evil can never prevail! Back again? Your dedication knows no bounds. By the way, there is something I've been meaning to ask you. When you visited Gerudo Town, how exactly did you get in? Could uh -oh. it be that you dressed up in that outfit again? Good thinking. You looked lovely in it 100 years ago. If only the princess could see how well you wear it. You are quite skilled. That much is apparent. I assume you enjoyed your time in Gerudo Town. I wonder who the chief is now. The tragedy of 100 years ago took me from my people. I know it must have been hard on everyone. Yet I know them well. The Gerudo can overcome any obstacle that comes their way. Many burdens rest upon your shoulders. The fate of the Princess and of Hyrule. But I have no doubt you will prevail. You are the most courageous Vaux I have ever known. Once Ganon falls, I intend to share my cherished memories of the princess with her mother. I will tell her not to worry, as her daughter is in good hands. You never fail to amaze. The hero of Hyrule hasn't rusted with age. Still, do not let your guard down. Neither of us wishes to see the princess in tears. Once again, that feels like the last voice line, but just to be safe, going to go in there one last time. You have given Hyrule so much, yet I have one more request. Should you happen upon my old diary? There's our repeat voice line for Arbosa. Onward to the one I've been looking forward to the most, actually, which would be Mifa. Remember, Mifa and Link were, were old sweethearts, so she might have some... I don't want to say intimate, because that gives the wrong impression. Some close things, some personal things to say. Let's warp over to Divine Beast Varuda and find out. Alright, so that's what they want us to do. They want us to shoot Water Blight Ganon's eye three times. And with the, the reach of our spear, we can hit it if we're on the same platform. So, there are better ways to damage this than what I thought. Boom. Boom. Bang. It's just not immediately apparent. It knocks it down. We can then stasis it. Uh, this is awkward. And then... Hit it from here. Come on, Link. Nice. Yeah, see, it's not that bad. It's not terrible. Now, we're out of arrows, so, like I said, it isn't apparent that we're supposed to be doing this. Because we, we were only able to do it three times. Link, do you recall the time?
time we went off to defeat that monster together. The Lionel of Ploymus Mountain was terrorizing us all. But then you came along. You and I fought as one, and... Does any of that sound familiar? If all of these are going to be Mipha trying to get us to remember her... Ugh. Uh, get the get the uh, Kleenexes now. Link, how much do you remember of what took place between us 100 years ago? Do you know why that Zora armor fits you so perfectly? There are many things I hope you will remember, but if you can't recall those memories, I suppose it can't be helped. As for me, I shall never forget. Uh, right in the feels. Ah. Link, if you happen to, uh, uh, that is to say, if you should find my diary somewhere, don't you dare read it! <laughs> Oh, I did not mean to raise my voice, but I do hope you will respect my wish. <laughs> oh, that, that's the best voice line we've gotten thus far. Oh, uh, I wish Mipha were still alive. If you ever return to Zora's domain, Please tell father that I am sorry. Tell Sidon to believe in himself. And someday, please tell the princess that I wish I could have told her all of the things I never said. As for you, Link, well, never mind. <sighs> My heart bleeds. <laughs> You can get up here? What? You can get all the way up here with... With what's-its-face? With, uh, Rivali's Gale. That is sweet. I wasn't aware that you could explore everything like this. Now, I can't complete the, the entire thing because I can't move the dungeon around and I don't have access to fireproof proof clothes. But you can do a lot. You can do a whole lot in here. And it makes me wonder, can you explore everything? Can you explore all the other Divine Beasts? I'm not going to go back and try it, but I think you can. You are truly exceptional. That thing took my life before I could even fight back. I believe that with the power you've attained, you can defeat Ganon. My prayers are with you as well. Please, dear friend. Save the princess. Link, do you recall the time we went off to defeat that monster together? Does any of that sound familiar? It does, in fact, sound familiar because you already said it. That's all the voice lines for everyone. Now, let's end off the episode. Which direction? Oh, I'm going the right way. Uh, that's... That's too far. I'm going to warp over to Zora's Domain, and let's, uh... Here, let me get out of earshot one moment. Let's go read Mipha's diary. Don't you dare read it! I found Mipha's diary a few episodes back when we were doing all of the side quests of Zora Do Zora's Domain. It is right next to King Dorifon. Right in the middle of all this water. Makes me wonder if they've figured out how to make waterproof paper. Here. Let's read her diary. Read Mipha's diary? You bet. At the request of Hyrule's king, a group of outsiders came to greet us at the domain. One of them was a Hylian child of only about four years of age. His name was Link. He made quite a first impression. He was curious and full of energy, with a ready smile. Are all Hylian children this way? One thing that surely sets him apart is his swordsmanship, which I hear is exceptional. 
he has even bested adults. He must be somewhat reckless, however, as he was covered in bruises. Wishing to be helpful, I healed his wounds for him. It must have been his first time he seeing healing magic, as he looked at, uh, at me with big, round eyes. It was... adorable. A divine beast was excavated from Zor's domain. This one is called Varuta. The first time I laid eyes on Ruta, I was surprised by how cute it was. It's so big and round with a long, awkward nose. According to the Sheikah who found Ruta, divine beasts require someone worthy to control them. It's fun um, to imagine someone piloting this enormous beast in the distant past. I wonder who will have that honor next. Link came to visit the domain. It feels like forever since he was here last. He was no—he no longer resembled, uh, resembles a child I first met, or the child I first met. He is now an accomplished knight and keeper of the sword that seals the darkness. I am so proud. However, he hardly speaks anymore and smiles even more rarely. He is still the kind of soul I knew, the kind soul I knew, but something has changed. I asked him if something had happened, if something was wrong. He merely shook his head. Perhaps it was it is his newly acquired night height, but I feel he is ever looking past me, into the distance beyond. The Princess of Hyrule paid a special visit to the domain. She asked me if I would agree to pilot a divine beast. She told me that she needs my help to face the calamity. My heart knew at once what to do. I agreed without reservation. Calamity Ganon must not be resurrected. If he is, there is no way to ensure the safety of my people, or of anyone. I do not know what will happen. All I know is that if there is anything I can do to help, I must try. I must protect Hyrule. There is also that the Divine Beasts are meant to assist the chosen hero when he faces Ganon. In this way, I can help Link. Link came to visit me. It had been ages. I told him that the Lynel of Ploymus Mountain had been, has been terrorizing everyone lately. When I said that, he started walking towards the mountain without a word. Spellbound, I followed him there. When we were almost there, he told me to turn back. He insisted he would be fine on his own. I stubbornly stayed. While I argued, the Lionel attacked from behind. I knew that I was sure we had met our end. How silly of me to doubt. With a sure hand and a fierce gleam in his eye, Link unsheathed the sword that seals the darkness and defeated our foe. His swordsmanship was swift and graceful. I was fascinated by the beauty of his movements. Though I should have been terrified, I could not help but feel safe in the presence of my dear friend. His kindness and determination to help those in need, his strength and skill, my heart is drawn to his. I am doomed. The last beautiful move Link performed on the, the mountain is called a spin attack. Perhaps I will attempt it with my spear. Father has finally given his blessing for me to pilot the Divine Beast. The threat of the Calamity can no longer be ignored. Father said the Zora must play their part. He seemed on the brink of tears when he made his promise, uh, made me promise to return unharmed. My eyes burned with tears as well, but I simply nodded. Segin could hardly look at me. Muzu left partway through. I feel awful for putting them through this, but I, do, I must do what I can to help Link. I could never forgive myself otherwise. Speaking of Link, I have at last finished gathering the materials for the armor. I must start making it at once. Today was the inauguration ceremony at Hyrule Castle. It was an honor to take part, however, honestly I do not remember much about it, but only because something unforgettable happened afterwards. I experienced something wondrous, a beautiful moment in time I shall treasure forever. I am grateful to the princess for agreeing to my request, and f to Daruk for, um, well, bringing me closer to Link. Oh, I did hear something that shocked me enough to almost overshadow that happy moment. Link has been chosen to guard the princess wherever she goes. They shall be spending much time together. I finally completed that special armor for Link. I am confident it will fit him perfectly. He is coming to the domain soon. I hope it to give him my gift when I see him. But should I really go through with it? According to the old legend, long ago a Zora princess fell in love with a Hylian swordsman. Perhaps there is hope. This will be a rare occasion that Link is not accompanying the, the princess. We should have t some time to ourselves. Oh, I have an idea. At sunrise, I shall set upon Ruda with Link. Zora, princess of the past, please lend me your courage. So if I'm to understand it, they, after the inauguration ceremony, they kissed? Drew pulled a now kiss move and, and pushed them together? 
That's what it suggested. I'm not sure why Nintendo is so adamant about not showing or mentioning kissing. I mean, maybe it's a culture thing, but it's not not gonna get you a, a higher like a, a E10 rating or a, a T rating. It it it's just kissing. Like it doesn't have to be illicit. Well, I think that's gonna be it. Sorry for some of my stutters during that. I know I refrained from stutter, letting out a stutter during the other journals, but when reading that text with the water moving in the background like it was, it was so distracting. It felt like my eyes were wandering, even though they weren't, which then caused them to wander and I would lose my place. So I apologize about that, but the water really played a weird effect. Uh, let's talk to Sidon real quick, because Mifa did ask us to. That might have opened up a new dialogue option, but I doubt it. I think her request is more fluff than anything. Uh, <clears throat> If you ever find yourself in this part of the world again, I implore you to come visit us. We are always here for you. Oh, and have I mentioned how incredible you are and how thankful I am? Because you are and I am. Yes, you are the greatest of Hylians and my most treasured friend for all time. Oh, of course. I assume some heroic errand has brought you here. Uh, have I asked this? You wish to speak of my sister? I am always happy to do so. Actually, I remembered some- I recently remembered something. Oh, this is new. A fuzzy memory from my childhood. There was a swordsman that came by every so often and spent a considerable amount of time with Mifa. At the time, it felt like she was stealing my- or he was stealing my sister away from me. I know better now. But that swordsman. It was you, Link. I'm certain of it. I do hope my bluntness has not offended you. Had things turned out differently, you might have been my sister's husband, my brother-in-law. Oh, I apologize. I got carried away and left my imagination run wild. Please forget my childish musings, my friend. So there was new dialogue. That makes me wonder, is there new dialogue with Dorifon? I don't think the episode's straying long, but if it is, uh, this shouldn't <laughs> this shouldn't add much time. If, it, if there's new dialogue, we should get to it quickly. Thank you, Link. You have saved us all. I'm certain that Mifa is thrilled to be with you. As she ever was. I shall watch over Mifa's. I shall watch over Mifa's fight from here, and yours as well. If you need anything, I'm ever at your disposal. This might be new. Yes, of course. You wish to hear about our dear Mifa. I am sure it will bring her peace to know that she is on your mind. Mifa was always kind from the day she was born. She was equally as kind to her own as she was to complete strangers. When you first took to visiting us, back when you were ch but a child, she adored you like a brother. However, as you know, Hylians age much faster than us. Eventually you grew so much, she began to look up to you. Literally. She was like five feet tall. As Mifa's diary plainly states, it was not long before she developed strong feelings for you. A Zora princess falling in love with a Hylian swordsman. It reminds me of a Zora legend of old. That is why I welcome the idea of you and Mifa becoming husband and wife. It is a shame you two never had the chance to see what might have been. Ah, of course. Mifa's diary was found just recently. Its discovery brought me so much joy. It is on that table over there. I do not mind if you choose to read it. I am sure Mifa w would forgive you anything. Sure she would. Sure she would. Man, those... <sighs> Mifa... is such a tearjerker because the first, one of the first times we get a legitimate rom uh, romance from Link and another character it's just kind of taken away. It's like, oh yeah, Mifa and Link, they were a thing. Oh, but she's dead. She's been dead for a hundred years. And then they're like, oh, but you know what? Zelda. Zelda, though, also developed a crush on Link. Just all the ladies love Link for some reason. Maybe it's just they like the strong silent type, which Link clearly embodies, even though he's, you know, shorter than everyone. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. <sighs> Next time. Man, how many, how many episodes have I ended right here, right in this hallway? It's just such a great view. I have to keep reusing it. Next time in Pal Plays. Oh, I was going to wonder as well. What what would a cro uh, cross between Zora and, and Hylians look like? Okay, but that, that musing out of the way. Next time in Pal Plays, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's our finale. Next episode is the last episode of the series. We are going to be heading back to the Shrine of Resurrection to complete... The final trial. Now, it's possible, but probably not likely, that there is another episode beyond that. I'm not sure. Maybe the DLC Pack 2 has one more thing in store for us. 
uh, that involves defeating Ganon that I'm going to have to save for another episode. But in which case, it's probably going to be a two-parter because it's going to be the finale. It's going to be two parts to the same episode. So whatever happens, next episode will be the finale. Thank you so much for watching. I release new episodes of Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. Next time we get 100% and beat the game. Isn't this cr That's so crazy. It's the last episode. Huh. See you guys then. Yeah. <laughs>